India's population is as diverse as it is large. Like the rest of the world, it has many disparate languages, cultures, literacy levels, and economic levels. What are the design principles that create interfaces that enable digital identity access across all demographics? Can we enable all major user groups like the illiterate, elderly, women, to give informed consent over the use of their personal data. Globally, countries everywhere are following Europe's lead and creating their own version of GDPR. India, for example, has recently introduced a privacy bill that envisions a set of account aggregators that will manage a user's financial data and would be required for the user to do any sort of financial transaction, such as getting a loan. We've been highly involved with one of India's leading think tanks, uh, iSpirit, uh, to draft the initial set of smartphone guidelines to control how users manage their own data. We see this work as a starting point for an iterative design process to hopefully create a set of designs that will enable most Indian adults to give informed consent. We believe that over a series of design workshops with focus groups that represent India's incredible diversity, we will be able to deliver design guidelines that are universally accessible. Just as importantly though, we think that the user insights and designs that we create as part of this project, including what worked and what failed, should be shared with the wider community of digital ID system designers and policymakers. In particular, we think the World Bank offers a great opportunity to catalyze a global conversation about how do we make better interfaces that are truly accessible to everyone in the digital ID space. Sean and I have a long history at Microsoft Research India, Babajob.com and Jaga doing community-focused design work. Through Project ARI, or to know in the Indic language Kannada, we are incredibly excited to push that effort forward.